How's it going guys? Welcome back and today we're gonna play some Gary's Mod. Or... Are we? Aw oh, shit, never mind. All jokes aside, this is the Gary's Captcha Troll mod, and it's exactly what the name suggests. It adds an anti-bot captcha system within Gary's Mod. And I'm sure you've seen this on plenty of websites where you log in, they think you're a robot, you have to prove you're human, which sounded so weird to me when I was a teenager. But now it's in Gary's Mod, and it's pretty simple. All you have to do is simply log into a server with this mod downloaded, and hope that you're not the Terminator. Once you do load in, you'll be greeted with a CAPTCHA. And since we're the admin, we have the option to close the window and completely ignore this. But for the sake of this video, there's about 10 CAPTCHAs, and this one is the most basic one. It asks you, I am a robot. Now this one's a bit of a trick question, because if you do yes, which you know normally when you click CAPTCHAs you want to do something, this would make you fail it, because you're admitting you're a robot, and you don't want that, so you actually, for this one, want to ignore it. Bam. Necros Videos has correctly answered the CAPTCHA. Now we can go on and continue playing the game. The cool thing is, is that your friends that join you are going to have to answer this CAPTCHA. Now, obviously the point of CAPTCHAs, like I said, is to stop bots, and that's not really a big issue in Gary's mind to my knowledge, so this really is, as the name even says, is a bit of a funny, goofy, tongue-in-cheek mod. All right, this one is massive. I didn't think they'd even get this big. This is the advertisement one. Wait for it to load, please. Okay, so you can see you can log in, change language. Um, what the hell am I looking at? Subscribe to download. Oh, we have the description. Okay, that's descriptive. We can see the workshop right here. We can see a uh, community. Ah. Now, how do you get past this? We can install Steam, and that's pretty much it. Now, thankfully for us, we don't gotta worry about this. We can simply click X. If one of your friends gets that CAPTCHA, may Gary help them. Now, there is, of course, one major concern. Robots are getting ever more intelligent. AI is on the rise. They're going to, very soon, if not already, be able to bypass these CAPTCHAs. So, it's always good to enforce the CAPTCHA a second time, just to make sure that your pal Johnny over there isn't made out of metal. Typing this in, and you can choose exactly which CAPTCHA you want, which is pretty cool. I was just gonna do this randomly, but now we can go through this one by one. So I'm gonna go ahead, type CAPTCHA ALL ONE, and there it is. We have now forced it. This is the most basic one, we've already done this. Now what happens if you answer incorrectly? Well you will be promptly booted from the server. However, because we are the host and the admin, we will not be booted. Imagine being booted from your own server. Next up, we have the scramble one. Unscramble the word. Uh, oh, and then up here in the top left corner, I, I think you guys might barely be able to see that. We have to type in the correct word. Oh boy. The only thing I can think of is that bub. Now, did I get it right? Let's see. Well, then I guess I'm all wrong. All jokes aside, guys, the word will be random every time. If I ever get this one, then I might as well just accept my fate. Next up, we have the math. Oh, sh 12 times 18? Now, the good news is, is the longer it takes you to solve this, the more legitimate you appear as a human being, because a robot would know this instantly. Now, because I am a bit of a mathematical genius, it's pretty simple that the answer is 216. And obviously I didn't use my calculator or anything like that. <clears throat> and here we are, we are in. Next up, we have the voice line. Select the correct character. How did you get in here? That kind of sounds like Alex, maybe? I'm just kidding, that's obviously Dr. Breen. Number five, we got the picture capture. Select the correct image depicting a couch. I mean, you could kind of make this a couch. All right, all jokes aside, some of them are very obvious. Next up, we have the arrow capture. Make the arrow point to the top left. Now this is pretty simple. Just simply click it until you're pointing at the direction that it does indicate, and you're in. Next up, we got the fake checkbox, which we've already seen. I also just realized now that <laughs> the first one is the actual one you want to click. So it kind of messed me up. I thought it was the same as the one we had when we first started. 
It's not. We had the fake one, and this is the real one. Now I know. Number eight, we have the color captcha. And uh, this pretty much tells you a color. You have to mix and match the colors to make it, well, match. And hey, we got really lucky because already, right off the bat, we already have white. Although maybe it wants us to select all the colors. Yes. That's pretty white, man. Now I am a huge fan of this one, so let's go ahead and try it again. We can see we want red. We have black so far. That is red. This is yellow, and this is white. So, as you can see, kind of cool how you can just mix the colors together. This one's actually green, of course, you know, mixing colors. Yeah, elementary stuff. But we just want red, so simply clicking the first box is going to get us in. Number nine, we have the yes or no. Is the earth flat? <sighs> well, guys, I've been wanting to say this for a good minute now. I was going to make a vlog video about it, but, I mean, obviously the earth is round. Alright guys, so this one does have a lot of questions, so I thought we'd go through a few of them because some of these are pretty funny. Does the American flag have 50 stars? Oh yeah. Alright, did World War II start in 1945? No. It did not. Does LOL mean laugh out loud? Or League of Legends? Is Gary Newman the creator of this game? Yes. Alright, last up. Are coconuts nuts? Aren't they like legumes? Is that what that's called? Haha, -ha, look at that, guys. Mastermind over here, just kidding. Uh, I just edited out the ones I couldn't answer. And of course, last up we have number 10, which is the advertisement one. And I just, I don't really understand what this one's all about. I don't think there's actually a way to beat this one, as far as I'm concerned. So the next time you feel like playing Gary's mod, hey, maybe try out this mod and uh, don't. But in all seriousness, guys, I love looking at these goofy, funny mods. They really are pretty clever with the way that they can devise them. So props to the creator for making such an awesome and unique add-on. And props to you guys for watching this until the end. As always, links will be in the description. Use code NECROS94 to save 20% off your next G Fuel order. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, thanks for watching and farewell.